We have a huge water crisis, especially in South Africa. Cape Town, it could become the first major city in the world to run out of water. Cape Town, South Africa is inching closer now to day zero. It's just 92 days away from having to shut off most water taps because of a severe drought. Now water is the source of our life. You can't have life without water. It's been 30 years since our nation dismantled apartheid. We faced many setbacks. Failing infrastructure, the rolling blackouts, restrictions, and now, water shedding. Now it becomes important for us to understand that once having received government, and we fail at the basic things like water, we must self-introspect and fix this. Water does not only affect us, but it affects the world. Every single human being is dependent on water. People should be planned for, things should be in place. Yet in our country, every other day, there's a water crisis. Municipalities are complaining, maintenance upkeep, the infrastructure for water, it's deteriorating. The planning is just not there. Skilled personnel, corruption when it comes to water tenders, like we saw in the Guiani water project, a water project that cost 90 million rand. The price under this government came to 4 billion. The ongoing water crisis in Guiani Limpopo. I think what's staggering is we always talk billions, millions, and these are and actual numbers, money that could be used for I think we delivery. gloss over billions these days. <sighs> Gareth, listen to this. Billions of brands later, still thousands of people mm. do not have water within the province and they continue uh, to go at great lengths to, of course, uh, try and get their basic human need provided for. Now, what Arai South Africa will do as a government in waiting, we will firstly identify jobs that can be created in the water industry. We will build vocational and skills training colleges to ensure that our water treatment facilities are top notch. We'll ensure that our graduates are getting involved in programs, not university degrees that will not benefit our country, but degrees that will actually plow back into ensuring that our water is safe to drink, into ensuring that our resources in terms of water treatment are well managed, in ensuring that we build boreholes in remote areas and communities to ensure that every South African still has clean drinking water. It's embarrassing, frankly inhumane, that 30 years in democracy, we still have communities like Guiani that still have no water. If we don't see our role in allowing this government to continue abusing our people, we must self-introspect. It's crucial. Water and sanitation are important. And what we need to do is implement technological solutions, digital infrastructure, to allow us to allocate our resources properly to manage our development when it comes to water. We're in the fourth industrial revolution. And the fourth industrial revolution gives us technologies that we can use to save costs when it comes to water. If 60% of our water is being lost, digital infrastructure can monitor through artificial intelligence and blockchain, we can monitor and find these leakages and ensure that we replace and fix them. We can upgrade our outdated water systems to technology that requires us to put in sensors, monitoring equipment, to ensure that whenever there's leaks, we detect them quickly and they are answered to efficiently. Let's fix it. Fixing our basic means voting for the right government. Putting the right government that is capable and willing to identify issues and deal with them in the best way possible so that citizens can do what citizens should do, which is enjoy our beautiful country, help our country prosper, start businesses and engage the world to come and visit our country. Not carrying water buckets for them to survive for a daily necessity. Help us save South Africa. Vote for Arise South Africa in the upcoming election.